main topic is trigonometry, and in trigonometry, I'm going to study. I have just, uh, I'm sure I'm aware of going to study sine rule, okay? And how sine rule works? So the same story. In front of A, we have a small A. This is a small B and a small C. Uh, as to sine rule, we have two conditions: that three sides given, cosine rule. Or two sides given and the middle angle given. We can apply for sine rule. But what is condition for sine rule? I have basic rule is what? When we can't apply cosine rule, go for sine rule. But I have another way as well. One pair. One pair given. One pair given, we can apply so by rule. By rule. What does pair mean stand for? Opposite angle and sign. Opposite angle and sign. Okay, for example. This is called opposite. Look, see. This is opposite angle and side. This is called one pair. It's called one pair given. Talk about this. Opposite angle and side. It's called one pair. One pair given. So whenever we have one pair given, one pair value. Pair value means angle and side is given. We can apply sine rule. So let's start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We have a two style. We two format. We have sine rule. Sine capital A by opposite opposite side is small a. Equal to sine b by small b, sine c by small c, or sometimes we can flip all. Means a up, sine a down, like this. This way, by b or up, sine b down, c up, and sine c down. So you can use any one, no issue. Okay. So let's start. We can use this one. Better I have have one view about it. If I look, what is this? A stands for angle. A stands for angle. When angle is unknown, when angle is unknown, I use upper one. And when what what is above side? When side is unknown, I use this one. And what is this angle? When angle is unknown, I use a one. This one. But I can use both. No issue. But in this process, we we can save our save our one step. Like one step of we can save our. Okay. For example, I'm going to do this question with you. Okay. So what is my question here? My question is here. For example, how to find this side? Okay, because side is my question. So here angle up. This is side up. So I'll use the lower one. Okay. Let's start. This way, Lord Rahman Rahim. In front of these is called small b. This is small a. So I'm looking for small a. So let's see how we can find small a. Because a and b is linked. A and b. So I will use these two. A and b. So let's start. A by sine capital A. B by sine capital B. So put the values. A is unknown. I my I always keep unknown up, unknown up. So capital A is 17. So sine 17. And small b is 7. So 7 up. Sine of capital B is this one 80. So let's see what happens. This dividing will there multiply. A equal to 7 times 2 sine 17 and divided by sine 80. So I'm going to type in calculator and getting the answer. So in fraction seven times two, sine seven zero, and divide by sine eighty. Type all together, and answer is coming six point six seven nine. I need, I need, I need, I don't want. So six point six eight is centimeter is our answer. Talk about this question. In this question, my angle is unknown. Angle B. So as angle B is unknown, so our angle is up. I will use this formula. Okay. So because A uh, A is involved, you can see A involved and B. So again, I'll use A and B. So let's start. Sine capital A. Okay. Because I need B, so I'll write B here. Sine B by B. Sine A by small a. So let's put the values. So capital B is my question, and small B is. Uh, Uh, sorry, I don't have this one, right or not? So, do I have this this side given here? No. It means I can't use formula. So, I have other plan. What is the plan? Can I go? Can I get this angle first? So, I put here a, 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 a single question here, double question here, and single question here. I mean to say, first I will find this angle, and when I get this angle, I have two angles. I can find third one. So, uh, some of angles is one and you know whatever. So, let's start. So, it means I use C and A. So I'll change my plan. So I'll use C here and C here. So let's talk about C. So sine C and small C is five. You can see there. And capital A is 111. And small is a small A. We have nine. So it goes there. So sine C 
equal to 5 times 2 sin 111 by 9 and after this this sign goes there when this sign goes there becomes sine inverse and the whole thing in a bracket whole thing in a bracket and let's see what angle C I get so sine inverse I type all together 5 times to sine 111 and I have 9 down and ultimately it answer is coming 31.242 it means 31 point I need 1 dp so this is my answer it means I have this angle when I have two angles how do my third one so 180 minus the rest one so I can say that angle B is equal to out of 180 subtract angle A and angle C angle A is 111 and angle C is 31.2 so all of you know that if I add all angles this plus this plus this sum of all angles give you 180. So when I have two angles we can find third one. So 180 minus 111 and minus 31.2 and my answer is coming 37.8 degrees. So I think it's enough. Okay.